Hey guys, Blender Beetle here. Welcome to another tutorial. Last time we talked about the eraser tool. And while we were in the eraser tool, there was this one section over here called frame range. We had trouble with that because, well, I had trouble with that because there's a bit of a bug going on in my program. And it's not, it's something that I have a workaround for if it pops up during this tutorial. But now that I have my workaround, I'm going to go ahead and explain how that frame range works. It works a little differently in all three layers, so we're going to go ahead and do all three different level types. First, we've got our uh, regular raster, and I've just, these squares are where I'm going to do the frame range. Oops. Let's just get off of that real quick. And what I'm going to show you here is we're going to go on to one, and we're going to select that first square. Let's select that first square, and then we're going to go down to two. We're going to select that second one. So, something you'll notice is in one, sorry, I have this one over here that I'm going to set to red so that you can see the difference, and we're going to go ahead and switch that. The red has been erased because it's just a copy of the layer that's in the new color. So, you'll notice that in the two got you got red that got erased there, and you've got red that that stuff that got erased there. But nothing got erased in three. That's because when frame range happens, it's looking at your level, not your layers. These could be in any order whatsoever. But if you were to, say, do it differently, if you were to... Let's just go all the way back until... That's, that's good. Go all the way back there. And let's go ahead and come back here, and this time we're going to click on one. We're going to erase this rectangle. But instead of clicking on two down here, we're going to click on three. And then we're going to go to the other rectangle. And what you'll notice is now one has some off, three has some off, but nothing is wrong with two. We'll get to that a little bit later. I'll explain why that happens in the Tunes Raster, but just suffice it to say that... Uh, that worked exactly as it's supposed to and you'll notice now that there's a little bit gone from both one and three. It would have erased in two if it was set up differently. We're now going to go ahead and turn those off and we're going to br bring this new one up. We can turn this one off too because we're not actually going to use that. So this one's Tunes Raster and I have nine frames here. They're all in order because I figured that's the easiest way to do it and the easiest way to show this lovely feature. So I'm on polyline right now and we're gonna go down to nine and we're gonna make a second polyline and you'll notice down here that there are new shapes. It's because basically your eraser is in betweening. It's deciding with those two shapes where should the middle section be erased. This uh, is why back here, when we had this section, the s nothing got erased on number two because if you look at our squares, this one's down here. So if you think about how our squares are going to go, it's going to go from here, probably to here, and then down to here. And so two didn't have anything in the square that got erased. One difference with Toon's raster that you'll notice is we still have lines and areas up here. If we switch to lines, and then we do not erase, do not have it, anything selected that is a line, nothing's going to get erased. But if we're on lines, and we go ahead and let's say go to the edge, and then go down to this edge, and we're set on lines, notice a line disappeared over here, and if we go down here, a line disappeared over here. For the in-betweens, nothing happened because you're only erasing lines and so it's not going to affect your areas. Let's go ahead and undo that. Similarly, if you switch to areas, you can erase just like with the normal, normal eraser, erase areas but no lines. Sometimes you get kind of funky in-betweens. You notice that one did a little 
loop and sometimes you may have to go with smaller frame ranges to make sure it, it erases where you actually want it to erase. Um, lines and areas just means that it will erase both. Just like, just like using the eraser normally, it's just doing it over a larger frame range. We'll just look at that real quick. So that is Toon's raster, and after that we've got Vector. Vector is actually a little more interesting because if you remember our last tutorial, we talked about how in the vector in the vector layer, when you erase a vector, it has to be like with the rectangle tool, it has to be en enveloping the whole uh the whole vector. You can erase with normal and do whatever you want. But if you want to erase with the rectangle, it has to, oh, let's turn off fringe range. You have to take the whole thing otherwise, oops. Sorry about that guys. Um my open tunes crashed and so I'm just resetting up here a little bit. So when erasing vectors, you have to select the whole vector. If you come over here and you just select part of it, I'm in frame range now. If you just select part of it, it's not going to erase anything. But if you select the whole thing, it will erase. None. Whole. So that means for frame range, if you say come over here and you erase, let's turn frame range back on, you erase this, and then you come down here and you erase this, your only thing that disappeared is that circle we have on two. Because there was enough overlap that that circle was completely covered by the rectangle that we erased. But none of these squares were completely enveloped. Similarly, if we wanted to say do this, and then on the last frame do this, you're going to see at some point they start disappearing because the square got in the erasing got big enough that it got rid of it. A 9 isn't on the stage, which is why it didn't uh, delete. So that's about it. Frame range is pretty straightforward. Now, real quick for the workaround. If, let's just pretend it's not working. If your thing over here, it's not erasing, you're getting that issue I had with the, no matter what you do, your stuff stays. The workaround is to come over here to your level. Because it's looking at your level anyway. And let's go ahead and just... Um, having trouble seeing because of the background and the blue but it's looking at your level anyway and the nice thing about editing it in your level is your frames are in order so you know exactly what you're erasing if you come over here and you click you frame range come over here and you make a circle and you come down here and you make another circle you know what's going to be erased in between and notice now our two is missing some because we have circles that overlap enough now. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any tutorials you'd like to see in the future, be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe.